A tattletale theory? You betcha. Hey yo everybody, Brett Charles here, and in this video I'm going to share with you a theory explaining why Mama attacks you in Tattletale. Let's start with what we know. Mama's story involves her collecting all of the baby Tattletales. Every single one of them. We also know that the Tattletales dislike Mama. They even pretend to have a party for her, but in reality they just set up a ritual to banish her. We also know that the Tattletales come together in order to get rid of her. The way they avoid her is by playing hide and seek with each other. Next, we know that Mama doesn't mind if baby Tattletail is alone, but if one of them's picked up her instincts kick in and she chases you. The VHS tapes also reveal that Mama is somehow linked to the death of one of the Waygetter commercial employees, i.e. the VHS tape. We know that she's responsible because none of the other Tattletails turn hostile towards humans in the game. Because collecting all the eggs gives the good, special, or secret ending of the game, she might also be programmed to see the eggs as her children as well. We also know that the Tattletales are handmade, and we find this out in the good ending by checking the Tattletale products tag. And finally, we know that the Tattletales have some kind of sentience. There's absolutely no way that a manufacturer would program a toy to say something that would prevent you from buying another one that it actually made. Unless it was intentional. Hint hint, way get a merch opportunity. But in general, that's not really going to be the case. Got all those facts? Now let's bring it all together. Mama is possessed or cursed in some way. As all the Tattletales are handmade, it's not unlikely that each one has some kind of AI tweaking or magic cast on it that would cause it to act and say things that don't seem normal for a children's product. Mama's cassette tape also reveals her story, and the audio cassette tells us that it involves her collecting all of the baby Tattletales. In reality, it might be showing a strong sense of protectiveness over them in the game, because she only comes after you after you've collected the Tattletail for the first time. The problem with this is Mama is way too overprotective and she's extremely aggressive. She somehow has the ability to teleport, but she tends not to move when you stare at her or when she's in the light. These might have been programming tweaks that caused her to chase after you in the first place. The fact that she teleports and gets banished via the Tattletail ritual is a sign that supernatural powers are in force. So what does this all mean? The Tattletales either plainly do not like Mama or are aware of the murders she is linked to through the VHS tapes. This would make even more sense if the Tattletales performing the rituals are the same ones from the tape, as the tape took place two months before the ritual, and the Tattletale we own was manufactured ten months before the ritual. However, there were two purple Tattletales, two yellow Tattletales, and one blue one in the commercial. But there was only one purple tattletail, two blue tattletails, and two yellow ones in the actual ritual. As you can only get the good ending when you've collected all of the eggs, it might be a hint that Mama can only be put to rest when none of her children are scattered around, or if you can serve as a suitable replacement for her. After all, it is her job to collect every last one of them. The bad ending suggests that she was still doing her job as Mama, and either she was collecting the tattletails, or the tattletails were hiding from her. So at the end of all of this, it seems highly likely that Mama was possessed by some sort of AI tweaking, or some sort of supernatural power that was imbued in her during the manufacturing process as she was handmade. All of this might also have led to Mama's production being stopped, and her being banned from being sold. Playing through the game makes it extremely clear that Mama is not suitable as a child's toy. Because it goes on a murderous rampage and as we've seen from the VHS tape, has the potential to kill people. No matter what the case, there's no denying how fantastic a game Waygetter Electronics has provided us, and we can only be excited for new updates and perhaps even a sequel to expand on the lore of the universe. Remember to subscribe for more cool and interesting horror game videos, and I'll see you next time. See ya!